Can Keep Support Evaluation. This video was shot during the interactive event, Indicators and Data Collection, in Florence on the 2nd and 3rd of March 2017. In this video, we present the database, Keep, its features and what it offers for Interreg programs. I am here now today to uh, show you a little bit of the new Keep. And uh, then you see as a title has a question mark in the end. So I'm afraid I don't have any ready answers for you um, on how definitely you could use Keep. It's more of a question from us to you. If you now having your mind set for evaluation and all this data collection and all the questions and challenges ahead, um, if Keep could be developed um, from where we are today forward in any way that comes to your mind um, so that it could support your evaluation work. Maybe you could use it for uh, finding evidence for something or displaying um, data in a, in a format that is uh, suitable for your evaluation work. So um, this said, I hope that um, by the end of this session, we could maybe have, I could bring back with me um, some initial wild ideas or any ideas uh, for how KEEP perhaps could be used for evaluation. But I, we think that there is already quite a lot of um, options and opportunities, a lot of data definitely. And um, if you're using Twitter, we are very happy for any uh, uh, tagging uh, of this presentation. So um, those of you who have used Keep, you know that uh, we have just launched, uh, just before Christmas, we launched a new um, interface. It's still the same database in the back of it, but the interface has been changed to much better as far as we think. Um, it's now responsive, so you can use it from tablets and um, for mobile phones and so forth. Um, a very valuable asset that we think is uh, there now, was not before, is uh, search options for per region. Not only anymore uh, per country, but you can go down to not three, which is then very, very good for searching photo uh, projects. Um, also, uh, for the new period, all the progr uh, programs and projects that will be inserted uh, will have information on the um, thematic objectives and investment priorities of this period. And, um, and also, the, um, it can be used for searching partners. There is, a, of course, a huge amount of uh, partners because it uh, covers projects ever since the year 2000. And you can use the database now for searching these organizations that have been involved in Interreg ever since um, the beginning of the millennium. And um, currently, for this 2014-2020 period, um, we have currently 66 of the programs uh, covered. We are working on getting the rest of the programs on board to have the data for their part. Um, there is much more data about your programs. As we are now, the first projects are running. So in some programs, already first projects of this period have ended, actually. Um, we are very much putting efforts now into getting the automated transfer of project data from the different monitoring systems, not only EMS, but also other systems, so that there would be automated transfer of data, project data, from your programs to keep. And so far, we have some project data from seven programs, and the work is very much ongoing. And um, so this is, we have people working on full time with Keep in Interact, and we're collecting data and contacting programs as we speak. And um, so, just to uh, show you a little bit of, of uh, what there is, I will click into Keep. Oh, sorry, not like that. We'll go from here. So um, I will just be showing you some, some of the contents here, if I may. Um, so this is the new, um, new um, interface. Um, the map is 
um, responsive and um, dynamic in the way that you can click on any country. You will um, get into the country and you can then uh, search for different data on uh, projects and have statistics for um, um, the country. So this is um, just the entry level you can get to different NAS levels. Um, so for the programs, there is a lot of um, overall statistics about uh, the different programs um, from the different periods, as I said, from 2000 to 2006 and then uh, moving on to the programs, um, the periods after. And um, you can always see the percentage of data in KEEP compared to the overall universe of programs. So, um, by strand and, uh, and, and data on projects. These very basic uh, statistics just to have an overview. And then uh, getting to the programs, uh, if we are now going, we can search, filter different data. If I just want to have a look at what is there for this period, I just have this um, current period from the selection and I I have a look. And here we see now um, a list of all the all the programs that are um, that exist. And the gray ones are ones that we don't yet have the data for the program inserted in the system. Um, all programs are being contacted, if not yet. So if your program is here gray, of course you can go back and kindly tap your colleagues on the shoulder just to um, Sometimes it is also that we have, from the Interact side, not yet reached your program on the list. Uh, sometimes we're waiting for the programs to react. So, uh, but it is every program will have their data here. And um, then I'm selecting uh, one program where I know that we have already data, so I can have a here. Uh, Germany, the Netherlands is a good example because we have um, at the moment already data there. And for all programs, this is how the um, program uh, page will look like. Um, of course, website. Um, here we can have all the projects in Keep. And we can click to the uh, project list and all the projects will be here, like this. Um, and you can click into an individual project, um, there is a project data as well. There is a description. Um, it can be, it's always um, in a language where, it, it, the language question of course in Interreg is always a bit of a challenge, but um, this data as it comes directly from the monitoring systems, it can be then in any language that the monitoring system has the data in. Um, sometimes in several languages like here. Uh, there is, um, information on where the project belongs in the um, in the program structure of course then um, dates of um, starting ending basic information budget and all the um, project um, partners and um, and then a map display of where the partners are located and um, information on the call this is quite program technical but um, in this program, as we heard yesterday, they don't have um, calls, so they have these direct awards. So this is what we have about uh, individual projects. Uh, as for the going back to the program data, um, eligible areas, um, objectives, and this is maybe something then, um, if thinking of opportunities for evaluation, thinking of um, different methodology for doing your evaluations. This is one place where you can um, also find information about other programs and which um, TOs and IPs they are using. Um, because sometimes maybe if you have the same ones, it can be helpful to share some knowledge. This of course is also available in the Basecamp tables. Um, so this information was there not before uh, in the previous periods about the programs, um, the specific, but now it is there. And um, you have here data about the, what is covered in KEEP about this program. So for this program currently we have 100% of the projects in 
and 100% uh, of the pro pro uh, project partners as well. And um, so going back to your offices, you can then have a look at, or even now, uh, have a look at what there is for your program. And um, you can then keep an eye on it and make sure that the data is, in, uh, is correct. And in case there is anything strange, then be in touch with us. Um, then um, we heard a very good presentation from Espen previously about different possibilities for using maps. And, and um, later on this year, we will have a, a seminar about the use of the communication of your findings of uh, your evaluation activities and um, all the work you do for evaluation. And then it comes down to how you present your findings. And their maps can, of course, be one very good uh, way of showing things. And, um, and you can here um, have different maps created also in, in Keep. Um, as I said, we have um, the um, nudge regions that I can select like this and get data for, um, for a specific region. The map display at the moment is not extremely good to use because the shape of the window is a little bit uh, unfunctional, uh, but we are working on this as well and hope to get it more user-friendly um, as we speak. Um, it's, it's ongoing. Um, so we can here, we can find um, now information about this nuts region, Rogaland, and uh, we see that there are eight lead partners from this region and we can get to the projects and so on. So there is a lot of, lot of data that can be searched by um, also on the maps by region or country. And um, so, yes, in this um, region, there are all together, they are involved in 34 different projects that all together have 512 partners. And um, so this is since 2000, yeah. So you see, this is very, very uh, powerful tool for the regional interest or national interest to see what is happening in a, in a given country. Um, so you can see it on the map, which where this NUTS3 region is, who they are cooperating with and so forth. So these can be very good tools, uh, these maps. You can uh, uh, then, uh, there should be a, there should be a, there will download map image, yes. So you can download these maps and use them. And um, one more thing I will show you uh, is the projects, um, because there are, I think, almost 20,000 projects um, in, in the database at the moment. And of course, then filtering and searching for these projects is um, essential because you cannot do anything with the full list. And um, here we have a lot of different filtering options. Um, about um, on You can select thematics. Um, and uh, you can have even the macro-regional strategies, the EUSBSR and the Danube strategy are in, and we're working to get the, the other two macro-regional strategies also covered so that we can use this tool also for finding out which projects are dealing or supporting the strategies. And then um, the 214-220 structure is here. We can select and um, look for projects under any specific um, thematic objective or an investment priority. Um, this list is also under under some uh, editing because it looks a little bit strange at the moment, but it is there. And um, types of programs, you can have um, CPC programs only or IPA and so forth, um, program periods, and even individual programs. So, and you can search for um, use the partner locations, either lead partners, or you can use um, all four project partners, and you can use either an AND search or an OR search. So this is really, um, you can do almost anything and filter these different um, 
things. And, um, and here you can also um, insert any nuts region. Um, taking my own video book. Um, so now I can see uh, I had demographic change and um, immigration and Varsinais Suomi, the southwest Finland region, uh, selected and there are two projects coming from this search. So just to show you, this is just a teaser. You have your own questions, your own needs, your own interests to look for different um, things. And um, so this is something that you can play, play with when you, when you go home more. But um, I will just um, have a few small tasks for you. Now I'm showing. Um, how many of you are now connected to the internet? Um, not very many. Um, I'm just thinking. Maybe I will just... Um, I will maybe not go into because only a few of you are in there. I was thinking of if everyone would be, uh, more people would be connected, we could have a little um, play of some uh, searches. Um, but I will show you one more thing that I think is very, very good for finding data and, and then being able to use data. I mean, you can download these maps and you can get a lot of um, statistics in the browser. But um, what I think is, is something that when looking for data is very... Uh, we had this uh, one search here and um, we have two projects that came out of this. Um, we can download the map. But what I think is very, very good tool is that we can export any filtering result to Excel. And then we have this data in, in a very editable open format. We can make any statistics of it when we want. We can sort it. We can further work with it. Uh, we, can, uh, we have the um, different budget figures. We can calculate averages. We can um, uh, find out different uh, key numbers for these. We can um, I mean, work with the, all, this, all this data that is there. Um, you get it into Excel. And it's then very, you can, you can create very, very um, big data sets that are exactly for your own needs. And we think this is a very good tool. And there is no other place that you could get all this data about Interreg and ENI and IPA CBC programs and their projects in one place. So we hope that this could be something that you can consider using for also for um, evaluation purposes when needing data, needing some um, evidence on things. Um, and then, um, what is there to come? And as I said, we're constantly developing Keep. It's not a ready product. We work with it every day. We try to get, um, we're very interested in hearing the programs and the users, um, what they would like, what they find is very good or what they find that should be developed or is not very user friendly or data that they would like to see. We are always interested. We cannot promise everything, of course, but we are very much willing to have this dialogue with the user. So please, ever, if you have anything coming from your program, um, your colleagues, any needs, suggest we can, we can look into it and see if it is doable, because we are really interested in developing this further. Uh, currently, we are fine-tuning this new site. There are, there are quite some things, of course, uh, technicalities that we are uh, dealing with, um, and the procedures of updating data from the programs, projects. Um, was already mentioned this typology of outputs. There, we are planning also to have, from this period, the, um, an output library where we would have the project outputs in Keep. We know that this is a very big um, dream for us to have, but it would be a wonderful um, repository of outputs if we would manage doing this. So we will also be in touch with you, the programs, of course, for this, because we cannot contact all the thousands of projects directly, but we'll need your support in this. Um, 
and technicalities are also to be then decided on how to do it. Um, there is this, um, you saw the thematics, uh, we will, all the projects that will be coming from the programs to keep will have automated um, thematic um, classification. So there is a, we have compared with human classification, um, this automated classification, and it was something like 93% match. So um, in order to save some energy, we will be doing this automated um, assignment of um, thematics for the projects. Um, this is also something that you might find interesting, maybe not for the evaluation, but otherwise for your program, is that you can have, you will be able to, you are already able to, but you will at the moment need our help for it, but later you can do it yourselves. Uh, you can make great links to any kind of filtering result. If you have made a res uh, filtering, you have gotten an, uh, a result of that filtering, you can create a link that you can use that takes anyone to the same um, filtering result, the same list of projects or programs or whatever partners. So this is also something that you could perhaps use for, for something. And um, we're working also on, um, on landing pages in all the EU um, languages of the uh, member states and Norwegian to have a landing page to better the Google um, performance. As I said many times already, data collection is of course our biggest uh, task to get all the programs and all the projects into uh, Keep. And now uh, we are constantly in search for new functions that we want to serve the uh, audiences with the programs, but also the wider audiences in Europe interested in any data and interreg cooperation and the projects. And if you'd like to see more details about the evaluation of interreg programs and projects, please check out the different models Interact produced. In each of the models, you will find various materials such as videos, guidance papers, Q&A documents, links and other details.